taken into new dimensions new dimensions are the expansion of your capacity to accommodate the multifaceted possibilities that are trapped in the realms of eternity and transported into the realm of humanity ladies and gentlemen there are so much possibilities that are locked up in the realms of the spirit hear me paul speaking said you are not strained in us but you are strained in yourself i say be ye enlarged many of you lack capacity to receive what god has for you what we call new here is normal there what we call new here is old there because you see the realms of the spirits is ahead of the physical realm and that is where god demosiled and that is where god lives so what you call your future here is present there so your ability to accommodate all of the possibilities that have been transmitted it, it bats what i call new dimensions many of you until you enlarge your capacity there are things that are called new that will never happen to you and that is why tonight one of my assignment is to expand your capacity because god will never give you what you pray for he will only give you what you have capacity for ladies and gentlemen your prayer is not what makes god gives you what you want it is your capacity that regulates what you receive from god i pray for somebody tonight may god expand your mentality expand your capacity so that the multifaceted possibilities that are locked up in god can become your realities so that they become your possibilities ladies and gentlemen it's a situation where god stretches you where god expands you where god makes you bigger and larger than life i declare to somebody you are breaking new frontiers from tonight in the mighty name of jesus what is new dimension number two they are the expressions of the invisible in our human actions anytime the invisible dimensions of god finds expression through your action that acts alone path new dimension hear me sir when what god can do becomes your reality that is new dimension sir God could not manifest in provision until Isaac was given as an action. And ladies and gentlemen, when Isaac was given as an action or an act of a man, ladies and gentlemen, what was invisible became visible. An invisible animal became a visible animal. An animal that no mortal deposited became the portion of a mortal man because of his action. So when we say new dimension, we are saying that it is assessing the invisible by your human act. There are certain things God will never do for you until you take certain actions. The actions you take in God is what brings the manifestations of the new dimensions because what you call new is normal in, in the realms of God. Am I communicating here? Ladies and gentlemen, we never knew that there is a man that can be so rich that the whole world will seek after until a man took action by the name Solomon and offer unto God a sacrifice that no mortal was able to give. By reason of that, he provoked a dimension that nobody has been able to beat that record till date. All the men that fought David became students in the school of his wisdom by reason of the dimension that he commanded. Any realm you want to enter is possible. Any dimension you want to experience is possible. But it is provoked by your actions.